This video is meant to be a guide to complying with Grand Challenges Canada's open access requirements, which innovators will find in our global access and data access policies. The video also provides an explanation of some of the key terms that innovators are likely to come across while reading our global access and data access policies. Grand Challenges Canada is committed to ensuring that the results, publications, and data arising from the projects and programs it funds are shared as broadly and promptly as possible. Open access is important because it encourages innovation and collaboration, improves efficiency by preventing unnecessary duplication of effort, ensures accountability and improves data quality, and leads to capacity strengthening by facilitating education and knowledge transfer. Grand Challenges Canada's approach towards open access is elaborated in the Global Access and Data Access Policies, which all Grand Challenges Canada innovators should review and which can be found at grandchallenges.ca slash resources. There are four elements that make up the core requirements of GCC's approach to open access. First, GCC innovators are required to openly disseminate their findings and results, including the underlying datasets, no later than one year after the completion of their projects. Extensions may be available in limited cases, for example, where delay is related to diligent efforts to publish or file intellectual property applications. Second, GCC recognizes that an important means for innovators to disseminate their project findings is through peer-reviewed journal publication. Innovators that publish their findings must do so in open access journals. Third, GCC requires that datasets generated through GCC projects be deposited into open access repositories. While this may be done up to one year after project completion, innovators that publish earlier must make sure that the underlying datasets referenced in their published articles are immediately available on the date of publication. Fourth, GCC innovators are required to report to GCC on their efforts to openly disseminate project findings and results, including after completion of their projects. Further details on reporting will be provided by your GCC program coordinator. The remainder of this video provides further guidance on complying with the second and third elements, specifically on GCC's open access publishing requirement and on achieving open access to underlying datasets. Grand Challenges Canada requires innovators who publish their findings to do so on an open access basis. Open access publishing means making published scientific information such as peer-reviewed articles, conference proceedings, theses, and working papers available online and free of charge in a manner that enables open use and exploitation by researchers and society at large. There are generally two ways to make published scientific information available on an open access basis self-archiving, and open access journal publication. Self-archiving is when an author publishes research findings in a paid access peer-reviewed journal that permits the manuscript or published article to be deposited or archived in an openly accessible repository, typically after a six to 12 month embargo period. Self-archiving where there is an embargo period does not meet Grand Challenges Canada's open access requirements. Open access journal publication is when the publishing journal itself makes the scientific information immediately available online for free. Articles may be published in pure open source journals, such as PLOS, or in hybrid open access journals that provide an option to publish on an open access basis, typically for an article processing fee. GCC innovators who intend to publish in hybrid journals during the term of their projects may be able to include anticipated costs of open access publishing in their proposed project budgets and should speak with their GCC program coordinators for more information. Where publication will not occur until after project completion, GCC may be able to offer supplements to cover article processing fees, depending on the availability of funds at that time. Another option is to publish for free through GCC's F1000 Research Gateway, which we will introduce Introduce later in this video. Innovators funded by Grand Challenges Canada who publish their findings must do so under a Creative Commons Attribution License, also called a CCBY license or a public license with equivalent terms, and the published work must be immediately openly accessible. A Creative Commons license is a public copyright license that enables the free distribution of an otherwise copyrighted work. A CCBY license permits unrestricted reuse, distribution, and reproduction in any medium including for commercial purposes, as long as the original work is properly attributed. Innovators should consult the Directory of Open Access Journals to find a suitable journal that complies with GCC's publication requirement. 
A search for a particular journal in the directory will return a journal name with the Creative Commons licenses available for that journal listed beside it. The chosen journal must not have an embargo period during which the article is not openly accessible. Grand Challenges Canada also typically requires that the underlying datasets, the raw, primary data necessary to understand, assess, and replicate the reported study finding, be deposited into an open access repository immediately upon publication or within a year of project completion, whichever is sooner. An open access repository is an online archive where datasets may be deposited for open, free of charge access by other researchers and the general public. GCC innovators should consult the Registry of Research Data Repositories to identify suitable repositories for their project data. Again, the chosen repository should not have conditions more restrictive than the CCBY license previously mentioned. For both publications and underlying data, funding recipients are required to provide periodic reports to GCC on dissemination of findings, including after project completion. Innovators funded by Grand Challenges Canada are free to publish their works in peer-reviewed journals of their choosing, as long as the publication complies with Grand Challenges Canada's open access requirements. Should innovators be unable to publish in a suitable open access journal due to budgetary or other constraints, in order to comply with GCC's requirement that they openly disseminate findings within one year of project completion, they may consider the option to publish for free through GCC's gateway on F1000 Research. F1000 Research is an open access publishing platform offering immediate online publication of articles, posters, slides, and documents under a CCBY license with no editorial bias. GCC has established a gateway with F1000 Research to assist innovators in achieving open access publication and deposition of underlying research data at no cost. You can learn about how the F1000 Research publishing platform works by visiting f1000research.com. Here you can find the article publishing process, including the open peer review, user commenting, and article revision functionalities. You can also read about the article and data guidelines set forth by F1000 Research, including how to format and prepare your data. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope that it helps you to comply with our open access requirements. These requirements will help to ensure that GCC-funded research is shared as broadly and promptly as possible in order to spur further innovation and optimize prospects for the translation of knowledge into life-saving and life-improving solutions. Please make sure to review GCC's global access and data access policies and do not hesitate to get in touch with your program coordinator in case you have further questions.